Hello everyone and welcome back to Guilty Craft. Now this episode I do want to slow down a little because the last two episodes have been quite busy and hectic and I've been talking kind of fast because I want to get my words out because I was ill and I wanted to make sure I told you guys everything. But this episode I want to slow it down even though we're still going to be doing some pretty intense stuff. I want to slow it down I want to explain to you guys what I've been doing uh, behind the scenes. So obviously this is new. Now this here is a light nectar. Nectus. It's like a light altar, basically, for Ars Magica. So, um, I've made myself a magic tech staff, which is really simple. It's just a stick, Charmerite, and some focuses, which you just have to work your way up the tiers. Really simple. And also a crystal wrench, which required me to find a desert, because I didn't have any desert nova. So, I've got a few of those now, uh, and it's really simple. So, yeah. So, basically, the... Um, Magitech staff allows me to check how much essence and as this is generating in the daylight I have quite a lot So this is really simple. It's just block of quartz gold block, and I think it's a white chalk Yeah, and that is a light altar or light nexus now below here below my actual altar. I have the uh, neutral essence Which only has 2% filled up, but basically you have to feed it um, Some of the essence water which is over there you have to feed it underneath so underneath, I do actually have this little system here. So if I quickly show you guys, if I... No, let, let's go and collect some. Soon I'm going to run out of this water, so I'm going to have to find a new pool. So, as you can see, I've already been picking up some. But if I just show you guys how this works. I place the water here. I've got a signpost so it stops it coming out. And then this is going to start glowing. And it's going to start to generate more uh, nutrescence. Which is what we need to make our heal spell, our self heal. So I want to start making that first. And oh my god, the sun's already going down. Jeez. Okay. Um. I'll start this spell in the morning. Let, let's just see. Can I go to bed? Yes, I can. Awesome. Oh, good morning everyone. Now let's start making this self heal spell. So I think I've got everything in my um, backpack. Now this is actually quite a unique spell as it asks for some essence. Now I'll show you guys how to get that uh, when I get there. So let's chuck some Vinium dust in. There we go. The lesser focus. Nice. And when, when you see this part all here it means you need to give it essence. Now, if we look in the book, it says it needs 500 neutral essence. We've got loads of neutral essence now. We have 17,000 neutral essence, which is absolutely insane. So to do this, you right-click the middle of the altar, and you should see a beam. Nice. No matter where it is, outside or inside, and then you right-click on your crafting altar, like so, and you should see a light above it. Flick your lever, and there you go, it should be shot, and nice, that's it, that's it, all done. So now we continue with the spell, so blue rune, golden apple, green rune, another om, and finally the spell parchment. Oh yeah. So this is self heal. And I've called it self heal one because I want to make it a bit stronger, but let's find like a really cool picture for this. Oh, I really want to go with like one of the, the hearts because obviously it's a heal spell. Oh, let's see. What, what what can we have? Yeah, let's go with like the, the lowest blue heart and we're going to call it self heal one. Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay. So basically, oh, there we go. I wonder why my suit wasn't making any sound then. Oh yeah, look at that. So it gives me regeneration as well. So it heals me and gives me regeneration. Nice. And it does use a little bit of magica. Uh, magica. So let's open our book and put our spell in there. Nice. Oh god, it really does cost quite a lot, doesn't it? Especially my magic bomb. Now, with these three spells, I want to start defeating the wither this episode. That is why I've got some wither skulls and some soul sand. <laughs> Now before I do anything, I want to show, show you guys what I've done behind the scenes. So obviously you know I have this, I'm planning to do something here, and I've moved the chunk loader down one stage. Uh, also my digital miner, uh, it was mining a lot, 
and I wanted to get some sort of automated system, so I told it to mine every single piece of iron ore. So as you can see, it's going through iron, and we have a lot of iron. We have almost 3,000 iron, and we still have more to come. <laughs> Look at that. So then I told it to mine up some gold. There wasn't a lot of gold, but it was only about four or five stacks. So I put some of it in my doubling, and then the rest I'm going to put in my triple. So how much gold do we have now? Uh, we only have like 300. Well, hopefully that will go up once we triple it. <laughs> so the thing I wanted to show you guys was the the second basement, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, the villagers here is bait, I guess. So I showed you guys this last episode. It's basically an auto spawner. And it's getting me mob essence. I have loads of mob essence now. So next ep episode, we should be able to bound Trixie, our cat. There she is. Ah, oh, you're a good cat, aren't you, Trixie? Go on. Roam free. Actually, don't roam free. That's dangerous. We should be able to bound her to a spell, which would be great. Oh, did that bug out? Yeah, it did. Just a little bit. Nice. I also finished this room, as you can see, and it very nicely links up with behind the smell tree. <laughs> and where my cave is. Oh, there's so many wanderers here. I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. It's absolutely insane. But yeah, look at this. It's really nice. Let's just get some uh, experience. There we go. So anyway, this episode, the rest of this episode, I want to start... Oh. Oh, hang on. Go on, get, get down there. I don't want to use up all my mana, but... Oh, nice. So yeah, like I was going to say, this episode, I want to focus the rest of this episode spawning in the wither. Now, let's turn night vision on, which I think is this one. No. There we go. Basically, if you guys ever questioned how I got my materials before I got, like, my digital miner, I went strip mining, and as you can see, I did quite a lot. Uh, I strip mined a lot. Um... So this is basically how I got materials and is what I did off camera. And there's plenty of materials here. Now this is further enough away from my base. And I thought it's a perfect place to um, spawn the wither. So let's do this. So if I remember correctly it's four here like this. There we go. Now my armor should hold out. Now as soon as I place down this skull it's going to start spawn the wither. Now I've got my sword. I got my spells, but I don't think I should need anything else. I don't think I need a bow. I don't know. I might need a bow. Let's do it. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. Let's let him regen to his max health. Fallen champion. <laughs> he's going to explode. There he is. Right, let's take him down. I think he's stuck. This is easy. Oh, God. Come on. Get wrecked. Look at that. Two Divin Sigils, a Yellow Heart Canister, uh, a Yellow um, a yellow Heart, sorry, and a Never Cube. Oh my god, this is so easy. We could we could totally farm this guy. As long as we have the Wither Skulls, we could just farm this guy. He's growing. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, this is so easy. Look, he just gets stuck. I think it's because um, he can't explode the blocks, so he gets stuck in the uh, in the ceiling. Oh, that's so cool. There we go. Oh my god, look at... Oh god, I've got so many of these now. I'm going to have yellow heart containers. I'm going to have to show you guys what to do with those. So let's just do that. And boom. Can I actually attack him now? No, I can't. He's, uh, he's invincible until he reaches max health. Oh god. Now he is actually dying himself. I just want to see if I can capture him. No. Maybe in a safari ball? Uh, no, it doesn't matter too much. I mean, I'm going to kill him anyway. Come here, Wither Boss. Nice. Look at that. Oh my god, we have three never cubes. Now this is actually really easy. I didn't think it would be this easy to actually farm up uh, all those never cubes. 
I thought the Wither Boss would be a lot more. So I started like preparing myself and everything, but apparently it's really easy. You just have to trap him in a uh, ceiling. So that's really cool. You have so many divination sigils now. I spent ages trying to find one, but we actually have loads now. So let's just chuck all these in here. There we go. So I, what I did want to show you guys was um, I've started spawning light mages around my world because I'm doing Ars Magica. So I've got that light mage. I think I've got another light mage in here as well. Look. Look at this guy. So I've got two light mages. So yeah, these guys are going to be my protectors. Which is going to be really cool. Now, when I hit level 22, I think it is. Um, I will be able to start my getting green points and I can start spawning using the summon spell. So what I'll do between this episode and next episode, I will make sure I get the summon spell. Now I'm starting to lose my voice again. I am still ill, which kind of sucks, but I hope that doesn't interfere with it too much. Uh, but next episode, I think we should be able to bind uh, Trixie, our cat, to our summon spell. Now what I'll do is I'll quickly explain to you guys how i do this before I go off. What I'm going to do is, instead of spawning zombies, I'm going to spawn exact replicas of Trixie. Which means I can then add her to a... Uh, oh, what is it? It's a, um, a crystal... Here we go. Crystal Pyacrophlea. This isn't the best game for dyslexic people, but anyway, I need to kill enough Trixies, clones, of course, I wouldn't kill the original clones. I need to kill enough of Trixies to get her into here, and then I can use a summon spell to also spawn her. So I won't have to keep her in this sort of uh, safari net. But yeah, other than that, then these guys... <laughs> There's so many. There is so many wanderers. It's absolutely insane. Look, they've all somehow managed. Don't ask me why or how. But they've all managed to sort of like get inside the Chocobo pen. Which is absolutely insane. And they're everywhere. So I'm thinking of building like a little village of them like just over here where, this, um, where all these trees are. Because it's absolutely insane. Actually, is this Essence? Oh my god, this is Essence. Oh, I can just use it from over here. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay, that's cool. So, yeah, I'm thinking of building, like, a uh, little village for these wanderers just so they live. So they're not crowding my area. I mean, look at them all. There's lo <laughs> There's loads. There's absolutely loads. And none of them, but, like, they're all trying to, like, rip you off with bargains. Look at this. I mean, that guy wasn't too bad. That's a kind of cool sword. Is that... Oh, I could use that to get... Steel, because if you smelt down chain a smelter, you get steel. Okay. Uh. Yoink. <laughs> let's let's save this guy. Let's save him, because I'm gonna use him to get a lot of steel. That's basically how I get my materials. I figure out little tricks in the game. So anyway, thank you for watching Guilty Craft. Uh, this episode we have defeated three withers. We have found out a way to farm Never Cubes. And I will see you next time for more modded Minecraft. Bye. Let's get my sword out. Bye. <laughs> Bye.